Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Java class and object. So before we get into Eclipse and start looking at how to create class and objects, let us first understand the basics of class and objects because classes and objects are the core concept of the object-oriented programming and we need to basically understand what exactly uh, class and object means when we talk about object orient oriented programming and uh, how the programming you know is structured and how you can utilize basically the object functionality and the classes to understand um, you know or correlate it with the real time scenarios or the examples so if we talk about this employee as you can see on my screen so class employee is something say for example it's a blueprint or a template right so for example you have uh, prior to all the softwares you have these paper forms right so whenever uh, an employee onboarded they had to provide certain information for example name age department employee number so all these you know information uh, was required to be filled in in that particular you know physical form or the paper form and need to be submitted now as far as this form is empty there is no information it's a template right anybody or any new employee that template is basically same for any employee that is joining but once the information has been populated in this particular form it becomes specific information of the person who is filling out this information right so for example on my screen you see rama is one of the employee uh, and uh, say he is joining a company and he has got this template or a paper form and he provides his name as Rama, his age department that he is joining and the employee number that has been given to him by the HR. Now once this information is filled, this is specific to Rama. So that filled information or the filled form becomes an object. So class is a template or a blueprint and that blueprint or template can be utilized by any number of employees or you know the objects in this case to fill out the information that becomes the specific information for that particular employee so this is very basic concept of class and object and how it correlates in the real scenarios now in java it is nothing different class is a blueprint or a template which describes the state or the behavior of its object and the object is basically the instance of that particular class okay so class is used to create the object so in this case as we have seen that the template or the paper form is the form that we use to fill the information and create the object for a specific employee so if rama picks up that paper fills his information there that becomes the employee information for rama if j is filling it it becomes employee information for j similarly for ellis and sam so depending on how many people or who who is the specific employee that is filling that particular information that becomes object for that particular class right now how you can create a class so let's go to eclipse and see how in java you can create the class and then create the objects from that particular class so the basics we have understood about the class and objects now let's go back to eclipse and see that in action so once you will have the installation of java and all the required development environment setup that i have explained in the uh, you know previous tutorial the selenium series we can uh, utilize the same concepts or the steps to install Java, uh, JDK and uh, Eclipse and once you launch Eclipse you will be redirected to this particular page so uh, I'll be adding those tutorials as well as part of this series so you can uh, set up your development environment and you can launch this particular page or Eclipse development environment now we'll be using Eclipse because this is widely used for a Java development and to create a java project the first thing is you have to do is either click on this create a java project if you are launching eclipse for the first time or you can simply go to file click on new and click on java project 
Now here I'll provide the name of the project. So I'll simply say learning Java and I'll use the project specific JRE because I have installed JDK 14.0.1 um, and I'll select that from the drop down and then click next and I'll just check this create module info dot uh, Java file. I'll uncheck that and just click on finish. Now you can see the project got created and the JRE system library has already been picked up for this particular project, right? So all the libraries required libraries are being picked up. Now let's see how this particular, you know, project is being stored in your, you know, um, uh, uh, how, how it is saved on your machine. So if you just click on, you know, right click and click on properties and you will see the location here. So if you click on this particular location, it will open the location of this project on your machine. So C Eclipse hyphen Java learning is the location where I have stored this particular project. Uh, all right. Uh, that's the workspace. Uh, and here, if you go to this particular folder, you will see all your, you know, uh, source files src folder is where all your java files will come uh, when you'll create the java file these all files are you know uh, eclipse specific files and then in the binary or a bin folder you will get the java or a dot class file created once you compile your code okay so let's go to eclipse again right let me cancel this now in order to create a class you simply right click on src folder click on new and click on class now here you provide the name of the class that you want to create so i'll simply say demo one and click on finish and this is your first class that got created in java now if you see closely uh, the keyword class is required followed by the class name to create the class now public is the access modifier for this particular class which we'll cover in the later sections but in order to create the class you just need the uh, class keyword followed by the class name and here at the top is the package basically the package learning java is the package which gets uh, you know uh, saved for that particular class now these curly braces so this is the starting point of the class and the closing brace is the end of the class so this is the start of the class end of the class and within the class you can define your statements methods etc so for example we have taken the example of the employee so within this employee class which is basically nothing but a blueprint we can define get a name get age uh, you know get address etc uh, get employee number all these methods can be defined which will accept the information for that particular you know uh, employee when the object is being created um, to store the specific information for the particular employee okay so this is you know a uh, basic of the class now in order to create the object of uh, this particular class what you need to do is um, the first thing is basically in Java if you want to execute any Java application you need to have a main method okay so main method is uh, important in the Java class in order to execute your application so um, it's not required in each and every Java file or Java class that you create but at least one you know main method is required which is basically the entry point of the uh, application execution so whenever the execution starts the um, uh, it, it looks for the main method and then within the main method uh, it starts the execution from there so that's why the main method is required and void is the return type will cover public which is again the static mo uh, the access modifier and static in the later sections of this tutorial now within this main method in order to create the object of this particular class so this is demo one is the class name we simply need to use the keyword new and the name of the class and that's it so this is the object or new demo one is the object of this particular class okay now this object i can store it in the instance variable now i'll cover instance variable in you know like the uh, next tutorial or or in couple of tutorial so i can simply define an instance variable of you know something like demo te which is similar to to the class name so you have to specify 
uh, the class name and the instance variable whatever name you want to specify and then you can assign the object that has been created now when we say new demo one what this does is it allocates a memory in the java heap for this particular object all right so that's what happens basically when you create the object of any particular class right so uh, the next thing is basically you know you can create multiple objects in this case say i can create many uh, you know different objects of this particular class i can keep saying like this right so um, i can have multiple objects being created of this class this is my blueprint and i can instantiate this class to create multiple objects so uh, similar to what we have seen in the you know employee class so employee one employee two employee three and depending on information that has been entered into uh, you know the the form or the class uh, the object gets created which is specific to that particular employee now once you create these objects so this is one object this is second object right so these there are five objects that have been created these objects are stored into the java heap or the memory is being or space has been allocated to these particular objects okay now what exactly is you know like memory or java heap it is the memory that is uh, the space or the memory uh, space that has been taken by uh, jvm from the operating system okay and uh, that in that memory whenever you are you know creating the ob these objects these are being stored or the memory is allocated and once the object has been or there is no reference to the object then because there is automatic or garbage collection in java so that memory gets freed and uh, can be reused so this is very basic uh, concept about you know class and objects uh, and how you can create the class so uh, in in java basically so uh, use the keyword with the with followed by the class name and to create an object use the keyword new uh, followed by the class name uh, to create the object of those class so this ties up with this particular you know um, slide here so the class is nothing but a blueprint as we have seen here where you can specify uh, different details so for example the form wherein you have the name age department employee similarly in the java class you can have you know methods here i can define you know different methods which will accept these details right and these uh, methods will uh, then uh, be part of this class or the blueprint and then this class when we create the object of this particular class then we can specify we can provide the details we can provide the name we can provide the age department etc so we'll cover or we'll uh, you know understand this uh, with the actual you know um, implementation of the class and object in the upcoming tutorial so this tutorial or this uh, you know example was just was to just show you uh, what is the class and objects in java and how it uh, how you can create your first class and object in java so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching